Magandang buhay mga kabayan and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng spinach and cheese burekas ang employer kong Israeli. Ang burekas ay isa sa mga pinakapaboritong pagkain ng mga tao dito sa bansang Israel. Hindi lamang ng mga Israeli at syempre kami rin pong mga Pinoy. With coffee plus burekas, uwa, masaya na po si Inday. And if you want to know kung paano ito gawin, please watch my video until the end. Toda! After 20 minutes, we take the spinach and we wash it good, good, good from the salt. Cool the water, not hot. And we cook it. And you see, they're already soft. They're very, very soft now. Magic uh, mixer manually only, and I put the leaves inside like this. Take the water, how much I can take it out. Okay, put this in, and take this away. Now we check it if it's good, not too much. We need more. You see? This is only the beginning. Enough. Yeah, look at this. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, boss. Next step. I got the job to cut the cheese. And I do it now like this. Boss, all of it. All of and it. All of it. Oh, okay. 250 grams of this cheese. Very, very salty, especially for these burekas. You take the cheese, you take this off, you put this inside, the spinach inside. Very, very good. We don't miss a bit. And then other kind of cheese. This is the mozzarella cheese inside. We mix it all together like this and I squeeze it like this. When I squeeze it, the taste is from each kind of material are going inside the other one. See, like this. Now, when my sous chef brought me the pepper, we put a little pepper inside. We put a muscat nut inside. The muscat nut gives a good aroma inside. Ah, it smells good. Boss, how much the ingredient? Uh, this and this, you know. It, it, it depends on your it depends uh, on, taste. On, uh, everybody tastes. And a little bit, just a little bit of salt because the cheese is already salted. Ah, yes. We have to take care so it won't be too much salted. And then I squeeze it again. Like this. And it became homogenically material. Now I will take a fork to taste it. In a bus. Perfect. The liquidized mixture that we use later for the burekas. Yes. 
very very quickly so we have to use it as soon as possible the leaves are very very delicate so what do you call this uh, in filo. english it's called filo. Filo kind of uh, filo kind of filo. oh okay Two leaves. Two leaves. We take them together and we put them inside. Like this. And then we take a little bit of the mixture and do it like this. We put it like this. Little bit of the mixture. And we put it inside. Process. Mm -hmm. Same process like that. It's the same process. Okay. We put it like this on top of it. Close it nicely. And then we put some of the mixture. Close it carefully. Another one. 
brush and brush it with the food. And now, take this, and we take one leaf, straight one like this. That's the end. That's the end. But we put uh, everything we left in the mixture. We close it like this. We throw it around. As I close this like this. I can put the last that we have. is to let the liquids to evaporate. We call it burek, su burek. It's a Turkish style adapted by the Israeli kitchen. Boss, let's taste now. Thanks, it won't die. Wow, the game of time. Mm, no, perfect. Okay guys, 